once again, just like to all the class 11 students. So, in our last session, we have discussed about uh, the concept of the right in a brief and uh, what is the origin of the concept of the right and how uh, the right that was emerged in the 1200 have paved the way for the modern uh, right that we enjoy, a modern legal right that we enjoy uh, in almost all the democratic society uh, by these citizens, their respective citizens. Okay. So today we are going to discuss a, a new topic that is the importance of the right. So uh, from this topic, I hope that I can make you understand or realize uh, the importance of this right in the constitution and how it will affect uh, the individuals or the society without these rights. Okay. So instead of making all the uh, long list of the benefit to make you realize or understand the importance of the right, we will uh, rather try to understand through a two different story that is based on a real incident. Okay, so the first story is, uh, it was in 1982 when India was about to host an uh, Asian game. So as a host, uh, the government of India had to make a necessary arrangement like building a new road, uh, bridges, flyovers. So they had to contact a con number of contractors. Okay, so contractors and they were assigned to make all the necessary uh, arrangement to uh, build the road and flyovers. So these contractors have hired a number of workers to achieve the goal. Okay, so while they were uh, working for uh, the new bridges and roads. The, some of the social activists have noticed that these workers were kept in a very poor working conditions. And moreover, and these poor workers were, uh, these workers were paid less than what they deserve. And less, uh, less than the minimal wage, or we can say minimal wages that they should get. So they reported this incident, the social activists reported this incident to the uh, Supreme Court, that is the Apex Court of the India, right? The highest court of India. And later on they have made a decision that everyone, every workers should get a minimal wages so that they can prevent any more exploitation of the workers by these contractors. So since then it was made mandatory to all the uh, workers throughout the India to get the minimum wages so that uh, uh, they can prevent any more exploitation and more they have also made it uh, mandatory to uh, work in a decent working condition. Okay, so uh, in the first story we have noticed that there was an exploitation if there is no right uh, for these workers. Okay, uh, Without this right, they would have been, or without that decision of the Supreme Court, uh, it would have been the same cases to or even now for all the workers to get exploited by these contractors. Okay. So uh, let's now let's move on to the next story that is about a person known as Marshal Lanu. He was from Assam, and he was arrested for inflicting some injuries. Uh, on the ground that he have, he might have inflicted some uh, gruesome injuries to uh, other person. So later on, when he was arrested, he was declared as a mentally unstable. That means a person who is uh, declared as a mentally unstable will cease to get a right to stand on the trial. That means he will no longer get a, a right or a chance to prove whether he really have committed the crime or not. Okay, so, uh, late, uh, but while he was in jail, uh, there was a time that a doctor, one doctor have uh, sent, a letter to, uh, sent a letter twice to the authority uh, saying that he was now he's fit to, fit enough to stand on the trial. But despite of his effort, the authorities have uh, uh, refused to uh, let him stand on the trial and uh, 
to prove that whether he have uh, done the uh, crime or not. So, uh, so after a many long struggle with uh, with uh, by the these doctors and he uh, by his uh, by himself, Masalalu. Uh, later on, he was released, and when he was released, he had already reached uh, years. Uh, his he was seventy-seven years old. That means now he uh, he had to spend almost his prime life in the jail, where he didn't get a chance to prove whether he have committed a crime or not. Now can you imagine in his position, imagine yourself in his position where you didn't get a chance to prove, didn't get a chance to prove whether you have committed a crime or not and moreover you were are, you are also declared as a mentally unstable. Now that is a also a violation of a right of an individual in which there was a first there was a violation of right and it was inequality we can say that it was inequality there was an inequality on the basis that he didn't get a equal opportunity to, uh, equal opportunity like other person to prove whether he is a uh, guilty or not. Okay, so without this right, we can't imagine to live our life uh, in a very uh, dignified and meaningful life because these rights prevent us from these discrimination and inequality and ex exploitation. So it is very necessary that we not only have to be uh, aware about this right, but we have to also aware about how these right can uh, affect your life without these right. The topic is fundamental right. Now I'm sure everyone is quite familiar with this term fundamental right uh, from your previous classes. So uh, these are the sum of the right which is mentioned in the constitution and well protected by the constitution. And these are the rights which ensures through these rights, which ensures the uh, citizens of the country to lead a meaningful and dignified life. Now, uh, since we have already discussed in our chapter one, uh, where we have uh, learned that the constitution is a compact of document that comprises of a number of articles. And likewise, the fundamental rights of the Indian constitution are mentioned in the article 12 to 35. And these Articles are far, uh, further divided into a number of parts. So the uh, fundamental rights of the Indian Constitution falls in the part three of the cons uh, Constitution, and mentioned in the Article twelve to thirty-five. Okay. Now let us first dis uh, discuss the first right, that is, our uh, right to equality. Now uh, this is the one of the most important right, uh, and the core objective of the the main objective of this right uh, is to make sure that everyone should be treated equally. Okay, and, and the core message of the, uh, this right is that your caste, your creed, your appearance, and your gender should not be the barrier to the equal opportunity uh, in, uh, of the life. Okay, so the first uh, in the right to equality, it says that uh, everyone should be treated equal, uh, equally before law. So there is a, uh, <clears throat> there, uh, there should not be any bias uh, when it comes to uh, making a decision on the basis of law. So regardless of uh, whether you are rich or poor, everyone should be or will be treated equally before the law. Therefore, there is a Term known as rule of. That the that is known as Yala Namola Mazugi. Carrier Lana term chi the Mazugi through right to equality. Ra any Mazugi uh, followers na 
and she represents the uh, law of the country and uh, she will not going to discrim uh, uh, she will not going to discriminate uh, anyone before her because she represents the law Right to equality through name, we it ensures that everyone should be treated equally. Because there is a lot of incidents in the history that people were, uh, the rich people get leniency uh, before the law and people who are um, uh, poor and lower caste get treated badly or unequally by the law of the country. Okay, so therefore there is a equality before law. Now this, uh, Right to equality also prohibits. Prohibits means it uh, prevents or it uh, uh, it makes sure that there is no dis discrimination uh, of any people. Now uh, let's uh, let's say if you uh, that you own a you own a shop or whether it is a hotel or a restaurant, you are not supposed to if you are owner of the. Uh, shop or the uh, restaurant, you are not supposed or you are not allowed to discriminate certain uh, people on the basis of their gender or caste or creed. Okay, so everyone should get equal access to the whether it is a shop, restaurant, and anything. So your sh caste and creed should not be the uh, reason for not getting the access or uh, not getting the access of the. Uh, uh, whatever the uh, opportunity lanele ta majhu ki khande roji ta door dil kharche or sna misura ji nele rangi ta khala or re homo inere ta majhu ki rangi caste inere rangi religion chulo inere what the dig is basis ka ne chamo discriminate chu re lo ra majhu ki ta mixing don appearance ta skin tone da dile inde ra Therefore, everyone should be should get equal opportunity opportunity uh, in terms of in employment. Uh, employment in there, any khande doji in Government subsidiary in there, khare khande doji in there, and everyone should get equal opportunity. Right? In terms of education in there, everyone should get equal opportunity. Now, the core message of the right to equality is that everyone should be treated equally. No one should get discriminated on the uh, grounds that he, uh, on the grounds of his religion, caste, or creed. Don't do this in a biggest message for this And since India is uh, there is also a, a, according to the right to equality, there is also a right that abol abolish the practice of uh, practice of untouchability. Now. India is uh, one of those countries which is deeply rooted in the practice of caste, right? Caste system. There's a lot of incidents where people were uh, treated uh, uh, like uh, biased on the basis of their caste. There's a lot of incident that uh, Dalit women were killed and Dalit people were killed because they have tried to get access to the uh, common uh, wealth. Uh, in a village, so there are a number of incidents where there is a uh, practice of uh, incidents where they uh, where the Dalits or the lower caste were marginalized in a society. Okay, therefore, and one of uh, the one of the practice was there is a untouchability. Color, touch, any 
Imani ya namo tarihinde o dinci dünzo manzaye right to equality ki ne olsun orada. Ra tam sanmala toplan çıkması lazım. Tabii tam onun gibi right to equality onun gibi dinci dinci konsept